Yo, yeah, what up? I'm back at you. It's me again, Mike Cardi. We about to get into <laughs> 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 Yo, yeah, what up? I'm back at you. Yes, I'm about to get into this thing. I'm sorry about the AKAs of Fort Valley State. Yes, yes, yes. Before I even do all that, I hope y'all are doing pretty good. I hope y'all's week and everything went pretty good because mine surely did. I actually had to get my ass back to the dang on swing of work. You know, vacation was over. I had a good time and everything. But now it's time to get back and make my motherfucking money, okay? <laughs> if it's your first time tuning into My Car TV, hit the subscribe, the like, and the share button. And also feel free to comment as well. So boom, let's get up into this dang on store. So, you know, some of y'all, uh, some of you all have been with me since about April, whenever I hit this story with the Fort Valley State AKAs and everything. Had they had the old sex scandal with the advisor. She was pretty much the my dime and pimping the bitches out for they dang on membership intake dues with all the congressmen and people around the damn city. Well, boom, we got some people right now that we got a dang on um charges on, and they dang on the issue once that for the people's arrest and everything. And let me just let you know, it's a variety of men here. One guy is a uh, mortician who works part-time as a county commissioner. Another guy is an assistant principal. Another guy is a city manager. Another guy is a former legal counsel for Fort Valley State University. So those are four of the six men that have been brought up on these dang on charges. But uh, David Cook, he been on their ass. And he been following this whole prostitution ring, you know what I'm saying, so since this whole thing first started. And I'm pretty sure some more people going to be brought up too. Because it's I don't think it's just going to be these little six men. I think it's going to be more people or whatever. But they got the charges on these guys right now okay um miss alicia johnson she is 48 years old and she was the former executive assistant support by the states um president and uh she's pretty much the ringleader of this whole thing pretty much she was setting the men up with these dates of these membership girls the girls that was online or whatever and um <laughs> she pretty much was that go. She was she was orchestrating the shit. Yeah, that's all I can really that go say. She was the that go bookkeeper and everything else thing for this whole situation. And you know it just sucks because you know these girls have now been exploited and shit. And uh, now they can't even wear their damn AKA letters and stuff because hey, I'm pretty sure they've been banned and barred from even that go trying to attempt to become a part of AKA because they don't play that motherfucker shit or whatever. And I remember that dang on attorney um, that she had Miss Alicia Johnson's attorney talking about some, uh, these is, um, I didn't think that these girls, um, will be doing this because these is not AKA values. Like I said before, this is Miss Alicia Johnson's value. That bitch got pimping all up in her goddamn system or whatever. She was getting her motherfucking money off the top, okay? <laughs> Crazy as fuck, right? Okay, I know y'all sitting there like, what the fuck is going on? Okay, but, um, Pretty much, the uh, lady, Miss Alicia Johnson, has been dang on charge with six counts of pimping and also six counts of prostitution. And also, she has had um, some more charges where she has um, offered to consent to perform a sexual act for money and uh, other items of value. And they gave her a conspiracy to commit fiduciary theft stemming from allegations where she conspired to take scholarship money, a book scholarship that had been granted to a student back in October of 2015. So she's been doing this thing for a whole little while because if this story is coming out in 2018 and she's been stealing book money since 2015, Bitch, you've been sitting up here pimping out many a motherfucking damn girls that's been online. I wonder how much money your ass got, okay? And I don't understand why your ass ain't being reported. What's really going on, okay? What's really going on with the situation? So, um, the men that are involved, they have been charged, the six men have been charged with pandering and solicitation of sodomy. Mm-hmm. Pandering and solicitation of sodomy, okay? The first guy's name is Ernest Harvey. He is 47 years old. Now, these men is old as fuck, okay? Old as fuck, okay? So, I see why these motherfucking girls turned these men in because, hell, they like... 
all these men need some uh, Viagra. They having to sit there and play with the dick a little extra longer or whatever to get it hard and get it stimulated. So they was probably over. They like, uh -uh, this ain't it, honey. <laughs> A.K.A. girl, I ain't with the shits, okay? <laughs> you got me up here playing with old man dick, please, girl. I ain't here for it. Anywho, the first man name is Ernest Harvey. He's 47 years old. He's a um, native of Fort Valley and he's an assistant principal in charge of discipline at Huntington Middle School school in Houston County. Okay? Bitch, you gonna need some motherfucking discipline, okay? You need some discipline for this dang on shit that you pulling right here, okay? You up here dang on sleeping with these uh, dang on college uh, women. Come on now. I'm pretty sure you married and everything like that at the dang on house at 47 years old. Come on now. Come on now. You need to be putting motherfucking ISS bitch suspended, okay? You need to be all of that. But I'm pretty sure your ass is going to be arrested, okay? Because they got warrants out for your ass. Anywho, Miss, uh, Mr. Kenneth Howard, he's 56 years old, and he is the city manager of Hinesville, okay? So, she got these men spread all the way out. I'm talking about they have been high positions and everything. So, I hope they was paying um big money, okay? But I'm pretty sure Miss Dango, Alicia Johnson, she was getting her dang on money off the dang on top of her motherfucking 70, 80% and putting a little bit of the rest of the stuff into the chapter to my oh you gonna be my best side ride you gonna be my sister my little sister bitch you need your ass wool anywho mr ryan jenkins is the other guy he's 35 years old charles jones is 57 years old he's a former attorney for fort valley state so bitch you need to be up on the prostitution on uh, prosecution stand too so talking about prostitution here you was part of the shit prosecution stand your damn self okay they're gonna be prosecuting your ass in the day go minute okay then you got Devontae Little. He's actually the youngest one up out of the dang old bunch. So whichever girl got a chance to get with Mr. Devontae, I'm pretty sure they was happy about that situation, okay? I'm pretty sure they was happy about that situation. And then you got Arthur James Nash Jr., who was 46 years old, or Cordell. And he's the vice chairman of Chris County Board of Commissions and local pastor and mortician. So I'm like, bitch... By the time they get done with it, they're going to be burying your ass up under the dang on thing. You're going to be your own damn undertaker, okay? Dumbass motherfucker. Y'all some nasty asses or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Y'all girls, y'all need to get some dang on self-respect about yourself. Because it's more to dang on joining the organization than dang on doing what y'all doing to get into the dang on shit. It's actual work or whatever that involves, you know what I'm saying, community service and stuff. Well, I guess y'all was serving the damn community or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's more to it than that, okay? It's more to it than that, all right? Let me just say that right there. Dang on, um, let's see, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, they pretty much had this ongoing thing with the dang on, um, university and AKA so that they can get to the bottom of this whole situation. So I'm pretty sure there's going to be some more stuff that's going to be coming up the tailpipe and everything. Um, let's see, the, uh, school has actually released a statement and everything and they pretty much have said we have consistently and aggressively worked with the university system of Georgia and law enforcement to ensure that anyone has a um, anyone who allegedly puts our students at risk is investigated thoroughly and expeditiously and have advocated for the most appropriate standards to be applied. While we cannot comment on the details of ongoing investigation, we expect anyone who has compromised the trust of our students to be held accountable with all deliberate speed, it said. That's pretty much what they were saying. Well, you got Miss Alicia Johnson's uh, attorney, Mr. Adrian Patrick, the stupid ass that was talking about, oh, these is dang going on. Um, AKA values what these girls doing like your stupid ass. He up here talking about oh my client has been demonized and she hasn't done anything illegal or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, well girl, she may not have done anything illegal because it's at the end of the day it was them girls' choice to go go through with the whole acts and stuff, but at the end of the day, you're supposed to be a role model. You're supposed to be an example for these girls. And what was you doing with the dang on current members that was in the chapter? You supposed to be advising them to sell their pussy around the dang on city girl. 
girl, bye. If I was them people's parents, if I was them church's parents, I'd be coming up to the school to whoop your ass. For real, for real. You need your ass whooped. And let me just say this right here. Anybody that's thinking about joining any one of these Greek, Lord, um, Greek letter organizations, the Divine Nine, Pan Hell, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? That's, you know, Alpha Alpha, Phi Beta Sigma, um, Q Psi Phi, Kappa Alpha Psi, SG Rho, Zeta Phi Beta, you know what I'm saying? Delta Sigma Theta, AKA, all these organizations, Iota Phi Theta, you know what I'm saying? If you're thinking about joining one of these organizations, do your research or whatever and have your money and stuff in order and been been established some type of connection with one of the uh, people around campus that are currently involved with the organization or whatever because, you know, it's more to it whenever you get inside the ranks and stuff. I mean, it's actually work involved and a whole lot of dang on paperwork and stuff and, you know, and it's a whole lot of legal stuff that's involved as well or whatever. And uh, you girls... Y'all pretty much catered to the situation because whenever y'all signed them damn anti-hazing papers, y'all pretty much said that y'all was not going to be involved with no kind of shit like that. But this was a form of hazing because she had y'all selling y'all pussies around damn campus. But y'all didn't see nothing wrong with the situation because y'all wanted to be a part of the organization. So therefore, all of y'all asses or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Them men, they gonna do they gonna be men. They gonna they ain't gonna take their pussy on the platter just like any other man would do, okay? And especially look how old they is, shit. Of course they gonna say some dang on in college cooch. What the fuck? Okay? But that's all I really got to say about that. Like I say, people do your research. Do your research on these organizations because I'm telling you, like, um, it's more to it than what these girls is displaying right here. And Mr. Alicia Johnson, they need to be pulling your ass up on some more dang on charges as well, okay? All right, that's all I really got to say about that. I love you all. Love you all. Hit the subscribe button. All right, bye. <laughs>